How's it going today guys? This is Upside Down Ace, and welcome to the review of the 1963 Volkswagen Beetle, the people's car. The car designed by Hitler for everyone. It was envisioned that everyone in Germany should be able to own a car and drive it on the fabulous Autobahn. This model here has a 1.2 liter flat 4 engine with 40 horsepower, so they didn't really get the whole high speed Autobahn thing, but it is for everyone, it's cheap, easy to produce, and fairly easy to repair. Now, I think they named it the Beetle, not only because of its shape, but also because of its potential selling numbers. I mean, this thing is everywhere, just like a bug. It's the greatest selling car of all time, and you still see them everywhere. These things are sought after, they're fun to go in and customize them. Now, let's talk about the performance of the massively amazing Beetle here. We got 0 to 60 in 23 seconds. Now, I could sit here and not talk for 23 seconds, let you know how long that really is, but you would be bored and probably fall asleep. So let's just do like three seconds. Okay, see, there you go. That's only three seconds of me not talking compared to 23. So that's a long time, and it had a top speed of 83 miles an hour, according to these Forza benchmarks that were going off, which is actually pretty good. Now, one thing I noticed is I don't see a rev counter anywhere. This is a speedo and a fuel gauge, which I guess is really all you need, because you could really just change gears based on noise. I mean, it's a people's car. You're not going to be worrying about how fast you're going. The other thing that's cool about the Beetle is, really, this was the basis for the 911. I mean, if you look at it, this is like the origin. You know, like Porsche had a model that kind of looked like the Beetle, and then they just kind of slowly adapted it to one of the most you know, iconic sports cars of all time. So, the Beetle, really probably one of the most important cars in history. But this is a racing game. We don't care about how important the car is to the car history. We need to know how fast it goes. And this thing is pathetically slow. I mean, it's the F100. It's the slowest, you know, possible PI rating. And it's just... It's just a bleh thing to drive. That drum brakes and an air-cooled engine, so it didn't really have much in the terms of sophistication. But there's a silver lining because you can upgrade this thing to Herbie style. I put the Herbie decals on here that I found, and this is fully upgraded. The thing we did first is a engine swap and a four-wheel drive conversion. So this has the Golf R engine in it now, fully upgraded. And as you can see. I am absolutely flying down the circuit. I had to change tracks because this thing was so fast. This is an R3 car. It spits out fire, as you can see there. It's craziness. It actually handles pretty well, and it drives really well. It has every, you know, there's fatted, fatter tires and roll cages and stripping out the weight. So now this Herbie, fully loaded, is a 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds top speed of 205 miles an hour, 556 horsepower <laughs> from a 2.3 liter engine, 477 torque, and it weighs about 2,000 pounds. So this is really a pocket rocket. So if you're interested in the Volkswagen, really what you need to do is upgrade it. This isn't even tuned, so it can go even faster and handle even better. But just fully upgraded stock, this is a really, really fun car to drive. And it looks, I mean, it looks old school. And the looks of the Beetle, a lot of people hate them. It's it's not bad. I mean, come on. It can be ugly and it's like bleh. But I, it has charm, even though you see them everywhere. It would be really awesome, though, if you could take the back of it off and let the air-cooled engine just completely, you know, have no covering on it. That would be preferable. But as it is, this car is awesome, fully upgraded, and terrible, not upgraded at all. So, that is the review of the 1963 Volkswagen Beetle, the Herbie. Comment below, guys, what you think of the Herbie. And if you liked the video, please like it. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.